Hi everyone, Tim Gresh here, professional bike fitter in Southeastern PA. This video will be on brake lever reach adjustment. Now, what is this? This is simply bringing the lever in closer to you so that you can reach it better. Now, typically this is going to be needed if you have small hands or for whatever reason, you just kind of want to get that lever in closer to make it easier to grip. Um, this is an adjustment that I've made for customers that have um, issues with their hand, like maybe arthritis. They don't have a lot of strength and they just need this lever in a little bit closer so they can grip it better, get a little bit more pull on that. Now, shift levers do have an adjustment, most of them, to bring this in closer if needed. Now, the location of that adjustment screw will vary depending on uh, the brand and the year. Now, right in front of us right here, I'm gonna use as an example, is GRX 11-speed electronic. Now, the set screw for this, you peel back the hood cover, and it is right there. It's a two millimeter hex. You turn that in, it will bring the lever in closer to you. Now, the amount of adjustment will vary depending on the make and model of the lever. Now, in this specific case, it doesn't really adjust that much. It's actually barely any adjustment when you turn this screw in. In fact, my wife had these uh, levers on her gravel bike. She likes using the drops, and that's another thing here too. If you like using the drops often, and you know, just this is a priority to be able to access this quickly, shift, brake, this is another reason why you might bring the lever in. But in my wife's case, small hands, and she likes using the drops. So our brilliant mechanic, Sean, he came up with an idea, he said, if you can't get the lever in close enough, remove the set screw. So we did that. So we took this screw out, which is this guy right here. It's a 3M. And we just put in a longer set screw. And by doing that, it was able to bring the lever in quite a bit closer to actually probably about there we were able to get them in. Still good braking power. We did need to actually put a bleed bucket on the lever, get some air bubbles out, reset the pistons, basically just kind of like go over the brakes, make sure we're still getting good contact, realign the rotor, but that got this in much closer. So a longer set screw, if needed, this will work in most levers. So I have in my pile here, some various iterations. This right here is hydraulic Altegra. Um, this has a set screw up top there. You'll find on Shimano, it's typically peeling back the hood cover and you'll find it. This has kind of a very tiny set screw with no head on the top, but put a longer screw in here. It is a 3M and that'll get you better reach adjustment. Um, also very similar mechanical shifting uh, rim brake Altegra from a number of years ago. And uh, this also has the adjustment right there. And on this iteration, they had a little tiny plastic screw, but it's very short. So put a longer set screw in there and that'll get it closer. And in fact, um, I actually did this recently for a customer, a longer set screw. They had this iteration of components and whoop, brought that in closer, easier from th for them to reach. And this, this individual actually had um, arthritis and that helped uh, a lot for them. Now, moving over to SRAM, SRAM, it, they're, they'll kind of like vary as well, but this is a rival shift lever and they have their adjustment screw all the way up on the underside of the lever, right in there. You take a 2.5 millimeter and go in there and adjust it. This rival actually has quite a bit of adjustability, but they're, the um, set screw is not removable on here as far as I can tell, so it is what it is. But at least with Shimano, it looks like you can just change those set screws out. Now, one other thing to note, is that if you are having problems reaching the brake lever, make sure your bars are set up properly. So generally speaking, with a compact road handlebar, and I'd say most like traditional handlebars that have, um, it's kind of hard to explain because there's so many bars out there, but I'd say most modern bars that look kind of like this, you're gonna wanna have the drops set up between about five and 12 degrees above horizontal. So you want to have that rotation set. Once that rotation is set, then position your hood where you want it so that you have a nice flat transition here. And then once you're there, then see where you're at with your 
reach adjustment. Um, it is very easy to get the bars rotated up like too far, and then you're in the drops and it's like, oh, I can't reach that. And the problem isn't the reach adjustment, it's the bar rotation, hood placement, and then move on to reach adjustment. So there you go, reach adjustment. Thanks for watching and until next time, enjoy every ride.